Hi, I'm your Chief Operating Officer, Hank Krakowski. I think most of us feel and know we're running a safe system. Yet, every now and then, once a week, once a month, something happens in the system that says, wow, we're not there yet. Uh, a close call somewhere, a misread back between a pilot and a controller, which causes airplanes getting too close to each other, uh, a technician that falls off a ladder because they weren't wearing the safety gear, Whatever it may be, even though we are uh, running a safe system, it can be safer. A good safety culture is constantly narrowing those events down year after year after year. That's the expectation that we have to commit to each other to make us a true safety culture. Safety is our passion. It's important to us, and we're willing to undergo some change to demonstrate that, uh, that passion. Successful transition to a safety culture is going to obligate everyone to accept their role for safety. It's also going to require those of us on the leadership team to take ownership, to become involved in our communication with our peers, superiors, and with our subordinates. We build a safety culture by identifying goals. We have a strategy that, that describes where we're going. A vision. Paints a picture. And it paints it with such detail that our managers, our leaders, can understand that our future is going to include some thinking that's a little different than we have today. Decisions that are different. Behaviors that, are, that we're not actually demonstrating. Hank brought ATSAP to, the, to air traffic control because of his experience with ASAP as a pilot and with United. Uh, in that role, in that safety uh, officer role, he learned that there were risks in the system that he didn't know about. And he learned about that risk through ASAP. And it's Hank's belief that, uh, that not only was risk remediated, but the likelihood of uh, loss of life was significantly diminished. I think he's right. And I think the ATSAP program is demonstrating that he's right. And I also believe that the reporting culture, the, the ATSAP initiative, moving us into a positive reporting culture is going to yield benefits, uh, increases in customer service, uh, significant increases in safety. I think it's also going to demonstrate to our, to our workforce, people in the organization and people outside the organization, that safety is our passion. It's important to us and we're willing to undergo some change to demonstrate that, uh, that passion. Our employees possess the knowledge in of where our vulnerabilities are, where our safety risks are. And if our employees are not willing to share it, then I'm going to continue to not know what I don't know. In a just culture, people are encouraged to report, and there's no fear of retribution for reporting. The environment in the workplace is one that actually encourages people to report. So we leave our old culture of no harm, no foul. And it means that we get real about wanting to know what the hazards are. So if you as a controller, or you as a technician, or you as a frontline manager or a support manager, if you're developmental, you see a safety risk or a safety hazard, the idea with ATSEP is that we report those things. Because as an organization, we want to know. We want to know where our vulnerabilities are. An informed culture occurs when the four subcomponents of, su of safety culture, reporting, just, flexible, and learning, when those are lived, you have this informed culture. And in this informed culture, everybody in the organization understands their role in a safety management system. This informed culture, is that's our tomorrow, that's where we're going, that's our destination. Uh, 
as we employ programs like ADSAP, as we rebuild our labor relations with our unions, as we train our managers and hold them to different expectations now going forward, we will be moving out of the blame culture and the threatening culture of discussion around safety into a more constructive culture through programs like ATSAP, TARP, and better management techniques going forward. And we have to do this. It'll make us stronger and we're smart enough to do it.